Hey babies, here's another segment of my financial journey. I said I was going to go open a Christmas account at a credit union for 2019. And that's what I did today. I went to Good Neighbors Credit Union. And they're, they have two locations. One in the city of Buffalo, luckily five minutes away from me, at 346 Connecticut Street, Buffalo, New York, 14213. And the phone number is 681-1460. Now, they also have a Lancaster Depew office at 30 Brunswick Road, Depew, New York. 14043. I always heard about a uh, Christmas account when I was younger and when I was working. I just never followed through. So I decided to join this company's account. You only need $5 as a one time fee to open a savings account with them. Once you open a savings account with them, you can add on other accounts like the Christmas Club or a reverse loan or checking account and other different accounts that they have. I chose to pick a Christmas Club account for many a reasons. My main reason is because I want to have money around the holidays. And I love to spend and I love to shop. Not saying that I can't keep up with my money, because I can, but 11 months is a long time to have to hold some money, especially, and I, I'm a shopaholic. So I figured I'd open a Christmas account. I have no limit on the amount of money that I put in, but once I put it in, I can't get it out. So for me, we all know that I use a budget, and I budget out all my bills. So I'm going to have that on my budget list like it's a bill. And once a month, at least, I'm going to go around there and take them some money and put it in my credit account. Or should I say my Christmas account. In November of the year, they will contact me by letter telling me that my Christmas funds are available and they will switch it over to my savings account. It is up to me how much I would like to take out. Knowing me and knowing how I am, I will be putting money in this account on the regular. I will use my regular income when I'm doing studies, when I'm doing medical studies, any way that I get some money, surveys, whatever I'm doing to get some money, I will be taking a piece of it to put in my Christmas account. I am doing it that way to have money, not only just for me, you know, this way I don't have to worry about buying presents because I have the money, but me, I buy presents all year long, so it's not a big thing. But, this is something that I wanted to do. So, this will be my first year. And I'm just going to start taking a little money each month out of my check. Putting it in there. I'm going to take money out of wherever I get money from. And I'm going to put it in there. And then, I'll allow it to save. I'm not even going to register for an online account to see how much is in there. Because I'm going to keep track other ways. But, I will have that in addition to the other ways that I get money, whether it's a medical study, working for the Board of Elections, whatever. You know, so I know that this money will be untouchable until November. And, you know, and it's funny because Usually when I work the Board of Elections, I do a class in the summertime, usually around August, and then I'll work in September. That check doesn't come until I, the end of October around Halloween. And usually, 
I'll put it to the side and won't even cash. And then when I get my other check out in December from working primary day, then I'll put them together and use that for my Christmas spending and stuff, which is cool. But knowing me, since I'm putting that money away for Christmas anyhow, I'll put it in that account. You know, I'll just write the check out and put it in that account or whatever. So, I'll have all my Christmas money together. Or knowing me, I might just save that check like usual. And, you know, hey, we got to learn how to save. We have to learn how to budget. We have to learn how to keep our finances together. And sometimes for low-income people, it's hard to save for what you really want. So, since I know around Thanksgiving they have, you know, the sale after Thanksgiving and, and Cyber Monday after Thanksgiving and they have real good sales, I could dump some money in there and get TVs and furniture or whatever I want. So, I'm good with that. I am so good with that. I want my money together. I like having a chunk. A hundred or two is cool, but if I could have a thousand or two, that's even better. So, this is just something that I'm trying to do to improve my savings for myself. Not saying that I'm not going to save. I'm still going to save. But, this is something I want to do. This is one of my goals and I feel good about my goal. You know, I'm not going to show you the personal paperwork with my information on it. But, I do like the idea and then they'll help you build credit and all kinds of stuff so it's really worth checking into and hey five dollars that's not gonna kill nobody to open nothing you pay it a one-time fee and it can open as many accounts as you want so if this is something you are interested in please contact me if you have questions or you're not quite understanding what's going on you know, maybe we can help each other because that's knowledge. Knowledge is power and we need to learn how to help each other get through the hard times. And we're about to have hard times, baby. So I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know how to tell you this, but we're going to have hard times. We've got a lot of things coming up and Trump is cutting a lot of things. So, you, you know, instead of just having the backup plan of one or two, you got to have many of backup plans. Until next time, I'm going to see you later. And if you belong to a, a credit union, list it down below. And if you've had good experiences or negative experiences, list that down below. And if you can think of other ways to accomplish saving some extra money, hey, get on board with this financial journey with me. And maybe we can challenge each other. To make it a better time and make it easier for everybody. Until next time, I'm going to see you later.